Hello, we're going to look at a relatively simple piece of differentiation which is needed for M3 further maths on your BTEC. The question we're going to look at is given here. The speed of a car in velocity is related to time, t seconds, by the equation v is equal to 3 plus 12t minus 3t squared. Determine the maximum speed of the car in kilometres per hour. So what we need to do in order to achieve this question is to differentiate time, which is in the equation, with velocity. So I can take the change of velocity, dv, divided by the change in time, and I can differentiate the equation itself. So three... I'll write it out, but we have 3 plus 12t minus 3t squared. And when we differentiate, the 3 disappears, the t disappears, and the square multiplies the coefficient. So we're left with 12 minus... 6t. Now, as dv approaches 0, so does dt. And as we get closer and closer to 0, we can effectively say that dv divided by dt is equal to 0. It's called the limit. So what we've done is we have differentiated time with respect to velocity and produce an equation which gives us 0 dv divided by dt is equal to 12 minus 6t. And we can rearrange this equation to make t the subject by taking 6t over to the other side like this. So we have 6t is equal to 12. And with a little bit further uh, transposition, we can make t the subject. t is equal to 12 divided by 6, which is equal to 2 metres per second. <coughs> 2 metres per second. Squeaky chair. So to, f to determine the maximum speed of the car in kilometres per hour, now that we've found time, we can resubstitute that back into the original equation. So velocity, V, is equal to 3 plus 12 times 2, remember, T is equal to 2, minus 3 times 2 squared. V is equal to 3 plus 24 minus 12. And when you do that sum, V is equal to, I'm going to run out of room here, V is equal to 15 metres per second. But the question says, Determine the maximum speed of the car in kilometres an hour. So, without going through all the, all the maths to prove this, to convert metres per second into kilometres per hour, you simply multiply your 15 metres per second by 3.6. And when you do that on the calculator, which you can probably see there because I did it earlier, you end up with... 54 kilometres an hour.